Do you know how to calculate recording fees? On this episode of Title Tuesdays, that's what we're talking about. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Today I wanted to produce this video because someone was asking us about some of the customary uh, recording fees. Because when they talk about closing costs on a closing, I usually quote our title insurance charges, but there's also recording fees which are going to the state and the county. So what I want to do is I want to produce this video. We're going to go on my computer and I want you to type into Google something that we're going to be able to search and I'm going to walk you through some of the common recording fees. So this way you have a better understanding of some of the components of closing costs when it comes to your purchase or sale because there are some charges that the seller pays and there are some charges that the buyer pays. As always, our closing cost calculator will calculate it for you, but I wanna show you another resource as to where you can calculate it yourself so you can get an idea of some of the customary costs. So let's go onto the computer. We're gonna go to Google and I'll show you what to check. So as you can see here, we're gonna go into Google and we're gonna uh, search in the search bar, Miami Recording Calculator. And that's gonna bring up a recorder fee calculator with the city of Miami-Dade. And we're just using this as an example. The recording fees are typically going to be the same all across the state. This is just the one that comes up the easiest. So this way we'll walk you through a typical transaction so you can kind of see what these uh, customary charges are. So here you're gonna see at the top, there are two different types of uh, items that we're calculating. One is going to be the warranty deed. That is going to be on a purchase, maybe a cash purchase or a financing purchase, but we're gonna check the deed and we're gonna see what the deed charges are for the seller. These are typically going to be doc stamps that the seller is going to be on the contract. Not always, sometimes the buyer pays them depending on what the contract says, but customarily the seller pays for this. And this is based on the purchase price of the property. The same as title insurance. It's The owner's policy is based on the purchase price. So here you're gonna see here number of pages. A typical deed is gonna be two pages. Number of names is typically gonna be four. Sometimes you'll see less. The reason I use four is because anything more than four, they'll charge an extra dollar per name. But usually it could be a husband and a wife, it could be a family members, and it's usually two people to two people, maybe a bank to two people, or just two names. So we're gonna use four as the example on this one. And the amount of consideration is the purchase price. So you're gonna see here, we're gonna use $100,000 and then you're gonna see it automatically calculates down below the deed recording fees. Now remember, this is different than if you are getting a mortgage. This is your deed recording fees for the seller to pay for the transfer of the property. So you're gonna see here doc stamps on $100,000 in Miami-Dade County, it's $600. Now it's a little bit more outside of the county. It's gonna be $700 up in Broward County and Palm Beach County. But for the purposes of this video, we're calculating properties that are in Miami. We do a lot of Miami closings, so I want you to see the difference. But check with your local county uh, property appraiser and recorder's office and you can see what their fee schedule is. So in this case, you're gonna see here a single family home. It's gonna be $600 in doc stamps. Recording fees are $18.50. Recording fees are $10 for the first page and $8.50 for every page thereafter of the same document. If there's a new document, maybe a mortgage or affidavits, those are going to be charged $10, the same for the first page and $8.50 for every additional page for again, that single document for a total of $618.50. Then if you go on to the right, which we don't do that many commercial deals or multifamily properties, but you can see here for non-single family homes, there is a charge. So the doc stamps are the same, but you're gonna see the surtax down below. They do charge a surtax for non-commercial properties in Miami-Dade County. And again, as always with other counties, this one we're producing for Miami, other counties are, this, are very, very different. Broward County does not have a surtax, but their standard doc stamps are uh, a little bit higher. So you just wanna make sure you're checking which county you're in. You go to the county's calculator site and you'll be able to see the uh, calculation. So now on this same page at the top here where you saw deed calculator, click on mortgage calculator. Now a mortgage calculator is going to be if you're obtaining financing. Let's say you're getting a loan as a buyer, you're buying for $100,000 and you're getting a $75,000 loan. That's what we're calculating here because these are gonna be reasonably 
Uh, customarily, buyer charges. The buyer is going to pay the doc stamps and the intangible tax based on their mortgage that they're getting if you're borrowing money from a bank or a private lender. So here you're gonna see the number of pages. I'm gonna say a mortgage, we typically say 20 pages. Some of them are getting fancy and they're recording master mortgages, so it's only three or four pages. But I would say for the purposes of this video, let's say 20 pages. The number of names, let's say two names, because typically it's either one person or two people. Very rare do we see more than two people on a mortgage. If it happens and there's more than four, again, the county will assess that $1 per name additional for indexing. And then the amount of consideration you're gonna see here, this is going to be the loan amount. In this case, it's the loan amount. When we did the deed, it was the purchase price. So as we said here, let's say we do a loan amount of $75,000, you're going to see what your doc stamps are. So in this case, doc stamps are going to be $262.50. The recording fees you can see are much higher. If you remember on the last video, I mean on the, on the deed recording, it was only $18.50 for a two page deed. In this case, we're talking a 20 page mortgage. It's $171.50 to record the mortgage in the public records of Miami-Dade County. And then you have intangible tax, which is an additional charge here you can see because you still have doc stamps, but now you have intangible tax with a mortgage and that calculates at $150. And again, don't forget to download our closing cost calculator at titlerate.com. This way you can calculate these costs so you can have an idea what the closing costs are going to be. And then there you see the total, it gives you $584.50. Don't forget, different counties are different charges. In Broward County, Palm Beach County, and North, there are many different charges in the different counties that the property is located in. But this gives you a good idea because even if you added an extra $100 or $200 to your quote, you'd still have a better idea on what closing costs are going to be for the seller and for the buyer. We also have a net sheet on our calculator. So if you're working with a seller, you can not only download a buyer's estimate, but you can download a seller's net sheet. So this way, when you're sitting with your client, you can explain to them, here's your purchase price. Because one of the things that sellers always say is, well, I thought I was selling my house for $150,000 and I'd be getting $150,000. And they always forget the closing costs. So you need to make sure you're able to point that out to your client to kind of give them an idea of what the net proceeds to them will be in the process of selling their home, minus commissions, minus doc stamps for the, the deed, minus any other charges that they may have uh, in order to close on their home. So I hope you learned something new today about uh, recording fees. Again, this case we did Miami County, but there are other counties and other charges. You can just Google those counties and see what their fee schedule is. Usually the only difference is going to be that the doc stamps on the deed are going to be a little bit more in other counties than Miami. That's because they have that surtax on non-commercial properties. So if you learned something new from this video, give me a thumbs up down below. Maybe subscribe to our channel, share it on social media, because it's all about educating you to be able to do better business, hopefully get more deals, and it results in a great economy for everyone. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, signing off, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.